Hey all, it's Nani. Um, okay, going to do a Halloween mission. This is one of the ones through the mirror on the Fair Island um, and not associated with the, the Big Island because there are missions there too. But this is um, one of the ones you can get through the mirror on your Fair Island. So what I'm talking about is this mirror right here on your Fair Island. Um, you can't access this until after you do the quest for this. Here's the quest right here, green monster guy. Um, you have to trigger this circle and then that will trigger this to open. Once that's open, this is what will be required to get in there. The teleportion book which we're getting, I think, one every day in the free gift, and then you can also get them from battling the Brat Kids on the, on the Fair Island, and then you're going to need one wand to get in there. The other thing you're going to want are these sweet baskets right here. You get these sweet baskets from filling the hospitality table on your home island. So as far as what you will need inside that mission, you're going to want these. And I think you probably want about 45 or 50 of these when you go in. That's, that's the most cost effective for going in. There are other options if you don't have that many, but this is definitely the best option to have 45 or 50. You also need six regular um, wands. You're going to need some of these bean things some of these berries and uh, the chrysalily and then this green potion is for opening up chests so you definitely want to have the green potion crafted up so that you can get into those chests the the green potion is not required for the completion of the mission but there will be chests all over the island that you can't get open if you don't have that same thing with these two um, these will be for accessing chess on that island so not required but certainly um, if you're going to take the time to go over and do a mission get some of those made up okay so here is the actual trial we're going to be picking flowers or fire flowers um, getting three wands from three giant trees getting sweets from the villagers which is why you need the baskets and then disenchanting animagus and I wouldn't even know how to say that, Animagus, if I wasn't a Harry Potter fan. <clears throat> All right, running along with that is this second little quest, which is the, the little bat thing and the little purple chicky poo. And um, that comes at the end. Once you've completed this part of the quest and gotten all that done, then this one kicks in for extras. So just so you know, all those flowers you have to pick, this is what they look like, and they're 20 each to chop. All right, you can see them here on the island. There you go, there are 20 to chop. And you will be using those in this crafting station here, the cart that is there. So that's the first page. And then on the second page is this last purple thing. Um, Let's see, only in magic villages where the potion is brewed, br uh, brewed turns you into a bat. So that little chicky poo is going to, um, this one here, and the little purple chick is going to be pertaining to this. You're going to give it to the bat. The bat's going to start flying around over to these areas that, let me zoom out, are on the outer side that you can't get to unless you turn into a bat. So you have to finish all this part first, then... Um, this little chicken will be will drink the potion and turn you into a bat and you'll fly over there for all the extra goodies. So in here you can see you need these arcane wands um, in that crafting station and you get that from these trees and there are three trees on each island. Just click that and here's what's required for that. So it's going to take some strength. There's enough strength to do all three trees as long as your strength is full when you come over. You get the three wands. All right, so moving along, I'm gonna get enough of these cut to get these things crafting in here. She's chopping that. I need one more. Um, here's one. 20 to chop those. Up here and get these going. 
just enough for one each of those. They only take a few seconds. All right, all three of those are done, so I'm going to collect those. And then you have the three areas. Um, each island is going to have three areas where you have to turn or, you know, apply your, your crafted items in here. One area, two area, three area. Okay, the hubs is being noisy. So I'm going to go ahead and apply those, and you can see what the whole purpose of this is. There's one. Let's watch it. All right, so you can see now that you can click on him for the baskets. Let me do them all. Where's the other one? Here it is over here. Another thing when you're doing these mission islands, you can come over and uh, look at these. See, I want this with the little bats flitting around. You can see all of the decorations and how they work. This one is an animated one here. This one is an animated one here. All right, so here we go. I'm going to click on him. So this is the reason you want all those baskets, because if you come over here with just five or ten baskets, you're only going to be able to fill five or ten. I came over with 70, so I have plenty to fill up five on each one of these. So the more baskets you have, the more filled baskets of treats you're going to get that you can use on your fair island. And I'll, I'll do a video for that one as well. So here's just a screenshot of how that works. Um, this is how it looks initially. You craft those items in that cart, apply them to those things, the tree, the chairs, whatever's there, and then you get to collect your baskets of treats. And the more baskets you use, the more baskets you get to use on your fair island. All right, so on this particular island, I know that I don't have all of my flowers uncovered. So I'm going to go ahead and chop these down so I can use my eye to figure out where the others are. And while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and collect my wands off these giant trees. Here's one here. Here's one down here. Because I will need all that. And I know I don't have enough flowers. <clears throat> so let's see what we've got up here. I'm waiting on wands. I've got one. So I'm going to use this eye. So right there is another flower. Right, we've got another one right here. So I'll get in there and get that one. Another one right there. And that should be enough. need one more right there. All right, collecting my stuff. I think I have enough to almost be ready to finish up. So I'm going to apply these and get my treats. You can see the wizards and the little witches just pop right up. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at that. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to use my times five so I can get, you know, the most I can get from this mission. If you're wondering why you're wanting to make those hospitality station items, um, this is why. If you want to do some missions. All right. Let's get these done. Fill my baskets. Okay, so let's see. So everything's done except for disenchanting six animagus. So you can use your eye. <clears throat> and after that, I think this is going to trigger. So let's see. Here's one here. These little animals. And that's why you need the wands. So you need six wands for six animagus. Oh, and the first one triggered it, so I'm going to take that. 
something about bat wings. There we go. We need to make the bat wing potion, which is this one in the back. So that's why you need these berries, beans, and um, chrysalili. So here's another mouse. Um, here's a bat. If you're not a Harry Potter fan, Animagus is when you turn into an animal. I'm going to use my eye, I think. Here's the little purple chick. Oh, and a cat. Maybe I don't need the eye. Come on, Slowpoke. What I miss? I miss some. I need one more. Use the eye. The owl. All right, and my mission is done. So you're looking at this mission and you're like, well, there aren't any of those specialty coins. Um, it's getting the treats. That's how you get the specialty coins, and I'll walk through that after. But you do get a few here, um, and you will get some, I think, from some, from some of the extras that we're going to get right now. So let's see. We brewed the potion. Did we brew the potion? Let me brew it. Five seconds. Two, one, zero. Okay, zero. Ready. Okay, so you see something else popped up. Yay. So I brewed the potion, so I completed that one. You can see the little purple things. It's not letting me click it. Okay, so this is making a path. People ask, how do you get to those other items? Well, you have to follow this path. So I'm going to go back and get these because each one of these is a little energy. I'm actually going to zoom out and make sure there aren't any around anywhere else. There aren't. So you can see them around the island. Each one of those is going to be an energy for you. So collect all those. But then in addition to that, you can see these little chests in here and here. So you want to click those. Some are exposed, some are not. This little bat is what's getting in there. And did you see that? We got a scroll. So I'm going to click that one, click that one. And they're kind of hidden, so you really kind of got to look around in here. See, like, there's one in here. And I think if I just do this 10, I can get in there. I love this. This is what I'm doing with my coins this year, I think. I'm going to get this, this, this bat rock tree thing. Look at the scrolls coming off of there. Potions coming off of there. I'm going to look around. At the end of every island, when I'm done doing a video for you guys, I always come back over. Here's one here. There's one hidden in there. Um, I always come back over the island and uh, make sure I didn't miss anything. You should make a habit of doing that. So let me get through all this, and then we'll move on to um, one extra thing. All right, so the quest that I couldn't click on right right then was this. Um, open magic chests from the marshy area. So I've got all 10 chests, so you can watch that quest if you um, can't find everything. And there you go, you get 35 points for that. All right, let's see. Chests on in other villages too. They're telling you, go do some more. All right, <clears throat> on here we have these burning chests that are around. So if you click on there, this is the purpose of this green potion. So you want you do want to have the green potion crafted up so that you can get into these chests. Let's see what's in there. All right, so one of those coins. I thought we were going to get like a black coin, but I think that's from, that's on the fair island from all those treats. Energy and a coin. All right, 
So the other thing, I'm going to see what happens here. Out of place cactus. So in prior magic fairs, sometimes these turn into, look at that, if you click on the out of place cactus, it wants this pink potion. So I'm glad I've got seven of those because there's a bunch of these around the island. And it's the bat now. You've turned into a bat because you drank that potion. Let's see what we get out of there. Same thing. This purple fuzzy stuff around needs this particular potion of clairvoyance. So just, you know, craft up some extra potions. It'll get you some extra coins. He's a little slow. You have to be patient with him. Um, this little cactus down here. I've got another cactus up here. And I'm going to look. I've got another purple patch right there. So some extra stuff you can do on here. <clears throat> Get a few extra coins. All right, I'm going to finish up and go back to the fair island, and I'll show you what to do with all those treats. Little slow poke bat. Alright, so here's the overview of this island, and this was about um, 17 to 1800 for this island. I think about 1700. I, I um, chopped around a couple of those flowers so that y'all could see those. So, 15 to 1700. Um, you know, personally, I wouldn't go in with under 2k because you just never know what island you're going to get. But that's for this one. So when I returned, um, I had the pop-up. I got 45 sweet baskets, and for completing this um, quest, I also got this first quest. I also got additional sweets for that. So I just want to point out that I started off with 70 baskets. So, and I used the, um, the, the highest option, which was five baskets per person on that island. One thing, um, the past couple years, this year and last year, we used to be able to do Mission Islands and gather some of these things. Um, we can't off these missions. I think with that maybe we can get some of these things on the big island. I'm not sure yet. I haven't started it. But I know that you can't get this stuff off of the Mission Islands. Though I know I did get some scrolls in there and some potions, so um, that's really cool. I can use these to get some points, too. Oh, sorry. I thought I was on pause. Okay, so here's the whole purpose of all this is this little guy right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on him and run through this with you guys, and that way you can see what the dealio is. So now I have all these treats, and they go by percentage, and of course the blue one is going to be the highest percentage, so I'm going to use as many of those as I can right now. Get him. And there I got five. Oh, that was from the quest over here. And I leveled up. So now I get to collect this chest, and I got another one, see that, and some potions, and it moved to a blue light, see that? So I'm going to click it again. You have to have these um, Book of Summoning, which you get from giving these, you know, wizards and witches stuff, and that's how you get that Book of Summoning. So there he is, and I still have quite a lot left. So now I've got a blue chest, and I got three of those coins plus some more potions. Now the reason I have enough of this candy stuff is because I use those um, five buckets in instead of the one option or the other one. So 
So this is a second blue one. So there are again lots of potions and three of the coins. This is an, oh I'm out, so I'm gonna move over here. This was a third blue one. And now here we've got the gold, see that? The solar sweet tooth. So these changed and this one moved over. I'm gonna use this one, six. That's only one. So one of the, the one that's in the blue category is gonna be eight percent then the one in the green category is going to be six percent and then this is one percent my kids so that was quite a lot of those coins right there and we went back to zero now see that so if I click on there and summon him I'm gonna go ahead and wait until I get some more treats um, or I'll just summon him and see what happens Hmm. Just count down. This is uh, going two points, not one point. All right, so there's another one. And lots of potions. Let's see. Look at that. I got a bunch. So um, I'm just going to wait to summon anything else until I do another mission so that I know that I have plenty of treats. So again, look in your discoveries to see how many baskets. That's not enough. I don't really want to go over unless I have 45 baskets. So I'm going to um, go work on my home island. And on the home island in your kitchen, you're crafting these two items here. So I'm gonna get some more of those going. And here in your sun dryer, cookies, right there. And then once you get those made, then you just load this up. And then, oops, then when you collect, you're gonna get a basket. So you got a basket. So, and you can do up to 50 of these a day. All right, so that is it. For the mission island, it's all about these little treats. So do some missions, and then you can get and buy some stuff in your shop. And um, I will work on getting all of the maps so that we've got something with all showing all maps to make it easier for people. But you have the general idea. The quest is the same. The mission, I mean, is the same on each one. So go in with about 1,500 to 2K. This island took me about 1,700. And good luck, everybody, and oh my goodness, I hope everybody is having a really spectacular weekend, and I will talk to you guys real soon. Please don't forget to like and share my videos around. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.